athletes, which we'll bring you some background on in just a moment. There's your confirmation. Sadova from Slovakia, comfortably over Nemes from Hungary, and Clement from Germany taking the bronze. Good result there for the uh, for Rosia from Great Britain. Yeah, Fifth. for sure. And you know, like I said, she's another year junior, so she'd be looking to push forward with that for next year. And I know she'll also be racing the Marathon World Championships in a few weeks' time. Cool. So the, uh, the, the, the field for this race, we have Ukraine, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, uh, Moldova, Hungary, Germany, Italy, Poland, and Romania in this field. Very strong Eastern European contingent as you would expect in a C2 men's race. But there are your crew from Kazakhstan in lane three. Inside them, Ukraine, and in lane two, Uzbekistan. Moldova in lane four, fifth in the European Championships. There are your Hungarians. Uh, Molna has already won gold in the, in the 500 meters. The Germans, fourth in the European Championships earlier this year. Your crew from Italy, seventh in the European Championships earlier this year. Poland now, they'll give this a shake. They were second in the European Championships and they've stuck with the same crew. And on the outside, the boys from Romania, they were, well, uh, Kostas was third in the back of the boat. He was part of the, the crew that were third in the European Championships. But he's got a new man at the front of the boat, so any change is a good change, they say, Jennifer Egan, except yeah. when it's not. Except when it's not. <laughs> except when it's not. Yeah. Sometimes they say, don't fix what's not broken. Exactly, so they do say that. Maybe it needed fixing. <laughs> well, I don't know, they were third in uh, yeah. the European so maybe, maybe they had. Maybe the other athlete is sick or has been injured. Yeah. Maybe there's been a coup. Who knows what's happened there? But it's a change of a change of number one for the Romanians. So the Hungarians in lane five, probably the favourites. Keep an eye on the Polish crew. They were second in the Europeans. And we're underway. This is a thousand metre race. C2 1000 used to be an Olympic event. Of course, in uh, Paris, it'll be the C2 500. Straight away now we can see, I think it's the uh, the Hungarians in the middle of the field, field who've gone out early to take the lead with the Italians, uh, the Moldovans on their inside and the Germans on their other side, but uh, making an early statement in the 1,000 metre race. The Hungarians, they don't want to take any chances. They want to put down a bit of a challenge early on for the rest of the field, see if anybody can stick with them for the first 250 metres. Pretty cracking pace for an early start of a race. Yeah, they're going for a different tactic to their under 23 C2 men 1000 meter athletes who kind of sat back a little bit in the first half of the race and then came through just in the second half. Just <laughs> they've gone out hard now and they've taken an early lead but uh, on the inside the Italians just sneaking up alongside them now just reminding them that there are still other boats in this race and across there it looks like in uh, lane two I think we have the crew from Uzbekistan also giving uh, a good sight for their money at the moment so it's Hungary first Italy in second position just ahead of Uzbekistan who are starting to push through now in fact maybe the Uzbekis have moved into outright silver uh, so we have not seen too much of Uzbekistan at these World Championships. So it would be nice if they figure in the medals. But the Hungarians in front. A good battle for second at the moment. It's really stroke for stroke between the Italians and Uzbekistan. And then the rest of the field just trying to hang on at this stage to the front three. Uh, Uzbekistan now moving clearly into second position. Though it would be, they would have the Hungarians in their sights. The Hungarians, though, have not dropped the pace at all. They've been there in the front since the start, and they are challenging the rest of the field to try and run them down. The question is, Jennifer Egan, have they gone too hard too early? They're only young. I don't think so. I think they're going to control this race to the finish, and the fight will be then for the 
Silver and bronze. Yeah. I think they're going to have another gear change now coming through the... OK, well, they might need it. The Italians dropping back a little bit, and in fact, it looks like Kazakhstan are coming up to challenge the Italians for third spot. But uh, Hungary comfortably in front. Uzbekistan hanging on at the moment with the silver. Italy desperately trying to hang on in the bronze medal position. Moldova coming through as well. So at this stage, we have Hungary in front, Uzbekistan second, and it looks like it's uh, Moldova that's coming through. Sorry, I think I was calling Italy. It's uh, Moldova on the inside of the Hungarians who've uh, put in some strong performances already in this race, but it's Hungarians in front comfortably at the moment. I think you're right, Jen, they're not going to be run down. They've had this race under control since the opening 100 metres and they are defying anyone to go anywhere near them. Great race for the Hungarians. Another gold medal in the bag. Uzbekistan will hold on for the silver and Moldova will take the bronze. So great to see a couple of other countries featuring in the medals, especially Uzbekistan. Great to see them picking up a silver medal. But no doubt at all about your winners there. They are the boys from Hungary, Molnar and Juhaz. Double gold for Zanad Molnar for this weekend. He picked up a gold medal yesterday as well. So he's already picked up two gold medals for the weekend. I think the silver medal went to Uzbekistan and the bronze, correct me if I'm wrong, Jenny, I think went to uh, Moldova. Yeah, I think so, Ross. My apologies, I think I did call Moldova as Italy at some stage during the race, but I'm sure you people at home knew what I was talking about, maybe. It's very confusing when the boat wear blue, hey? I know, I know. It's, a, it's very similar blue, isn't it, to the... Italian blue, the blue and white, but there is definitely Hungary, Uzbekistan, and Moldova. I'm just checking, a bit nervous now about uh, the second place. It was Uzbekistan, yes. So they'd be pretty happy. Uh, I think that's the first medal for Uzbekistan for the weekend. Yeah, they're on the medal table now. And Moldova, they've had a, a nice solid uh, world championships as well, picked up a few minor medals around the place. Yeah, and they've got to be happy with that. They were 50 euros and now stepped up to the bronze medal. So great improvement over the past few weeks. Poland finishing fourth. The Germans in fifth position. So there's your top five for the C2 men's 1,000 metre junior final. Congratulations to Hungary. Let me just do a quick tally. I think that's six.